This week, finally, a deal with Iran over nuclear weapons. And while it's cause for celebration, depending on who you ask, the president felt confident enough to open himself up to questions about the deal. And one question became the story itself. Four Americans are currently being held in Iran, among them a CIA operative and a Washington Post journalist. So after this week's nuclear arms deal, reporters wanted to know if a prisoner exchange had been discussed. CBS's Major Garrett, though, had a lecture for the president first. Can you tell the country, sir, why you are content with all the fanfare around this deal to leave the conscience of this nation and the strength of this nation unaccounted for in relation to these four Americans? That had the president seeing mushroom clouds, but he pulled himself together. I got to give you credit, Major, for how you craft those, uh, those questions. For the, the notion that I'm content as I celebrate with American citizens languishing in Iranian jails? Major, that, that's nonsense. And you should know better. While other news outlets like CNN covered the exchange, the CBS Evening News didn't touch it. Major, thanks. The prisoner issue is legitimate, but some felt the question was not including CNN's Dan Abash. Uh, a fine line between asking a tough question and maybe crossing that line a little bit and being disrespectful. Major Garrett now joins the ranks of other journalistic notables who made themselves the story. Are you running for something? <laughs> no, sir, Mr. President, are you? Uh. First of all, it was a totally legitimate subject. Everybody wanted to know sure. what level of discussion went on about getting these four Americans out of. So the idea that he could have asked a tough question, but there was a condescending and flowery at the same time, you know, context to it, this the strength of the nation and the conscience of the nation. What are you talking about? It's four people that are being held, all for different cir under different circumstances. I, I felt very uncomfortable just because I thought he was trying to make himself the center of it. He said, and then he later said, well, it's my job. Uh, you know, to force the president to ask. I, I, I intended to be um, provocative. Yeah, he didn't get grilled on the CBS Evening News, but no. Charlie Rose on the, the CBS day. Morning News yes. did give him a pretty good... Well, obviously, Scott uh, Pelley told him he couldn't use it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Scott said, you know what, we're not making you the story tonight. We've got an arms deal, so why don't yeah. you leave that aside? Yeah, no, I mean, I, guessing. I agree with you that the issue was completely legitimate. What's happened to Jason Rezaian of the mm -hmm. Washington Post and these other... Uh, folks who are being held by the Iranians is 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 really just pretty shocking and I think it was an appropriate context mm -hmm. in which to bring it up but the question was just performance art it was about Major Garrett it wasn't about President Obama it wasn't about the issue and and to, to say that why are you you know you're content to yeah, the content I mean, was the it, oh, and these questions are prepared. Yeah. I mean, oh, no, he studied that one. It, yeah, yeah, it was it was just awful, mm. completely inappropriate. It was exactly the it, you know, it ties back to the last subject we were discussing. There is particularly in the Obama administration a very uh, an undercurrent in the American political discussion that believes that uh, that Obama is out to sell out the country. He's a secret Muslim, whatever it may be. And the discussion of this Iran deal has, has had that tinge to it. So I think in that context, coming out and saying, like, you're here celebrating while, Amer while you know, proud, proud patriotic Americans are you know, suffering in Iranian prisons, that I think added an extra edge of, of awfulness to the question. Um, I, I agree with absolutely the, the subject matter of the question itself was, was totally within bounds. It was totally yeah. legitimate. And I don't have the same reaction that Dana Bash did, that this was, that there's a decorum that you keep in, that, mm. in the East Room, that you have to have, you know, be polite in that sort of way. Mm. I don't, that's not my problem with it. My problem with it is that it feeds into sort of the darkest elements of, of the discussion that we've had for the last six plus years in this country. Kelly, you want to hop in? <laughs> well, I, I, I would agree with what everybody has said and particularly what Josh has said because <laughs> the guy, um, President Obama, just gets these the response and the questions with the layer of yeah. uh, stuff that it shouldn't be there. So it sometimes translates into a disrespect, and I think that's what Dana Bash was talking about. And I agree with you, you don't have to be respectful in the way that I think she meant in that discussion. You can be tough. It was a perfectly legitimate question to say, hey, maybe you could have said, well, there are many ways you could have said it, but even if you wanted to use some of the same sure. words, how can we even acknowledge or celebrate 
a deal that yes. is is thought when. by many to be, you know, groundbreaking when four yeah, Americans yeah. are, you know, you should ask the question. You know, there you go. Yeah, well, well, that's a much think? better that's a much no, better version of the question. I don't think Major Garrett even knew what he wanted to ask. No, I went back and listened. I just want to yeah, reread. Yeah. Bear with me here. Can you tell the country, sir, why you are content with all the fanfare around this deal to leave the conscience of this nation? I think he said conscious, but he meant conscience. The strength of this nation unaccounted for in what relation to these four Americans. I have no idea what it means. And when Charles Charlie Rose asked him about it. Yes. He said, Major, do you think the president is content to leave the conscience of the nation unaccounted for? And Major Garrett said, no, I don't. So he basically <laughs> yeah. jettisoned the premise right. he had yeah. when yeah. he asked the question. He, you, yeah. know, you, you know, have a lot of time to plan these out. you got to do a better I, job. I said this, and maybe true or not, but, you know, Garrett, uh, Major Garrett used to be the chief White House correspondent yes. for Fox News. Right. And it's the kind of question that would easily fly on Fox you know, yes. and, and love it. You know, because they're all promoting this, all foaming mm -hmm. about this. Oh, Major, Major Garrett mm -hmm. asked the right question, but CBS Evening News, that's why they didn't use it on Scott Pelley. I wasn't there, I don't have any secret information, but there's no way Scott Pelley was going to do it. You know what? You know, I didn't see it because I watched CBS yeah. Evening News, so I didn't yeah. know until the next day no. that he had said that. Yeah. And to pick yeah. up on your point, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Adam, when uh, Charlie Rose was questioning Major Garrett, I had the impression that Major Garrett was denying that he ever said that the president was content <laughs> to, uh, to he did with the oh, he deal. Was, I yeah. heard that part of it that he was that wasn't the, that wasn't the meaning of the of the word content. That's uh, what he said. You know, know, he he flat out denied that he said what he said. He also said that uh, he had provoked the president right. yeah. to address a legitimate yeah. topic. Now, I agree with all of you. It's a completely legitimate topic. But the notion that you need to stage a provocation in order to get an answer on a topic like this, I think is problematic. There's, there's one other thing here, I think. Uh, the question was one thing, but the reason why we're talking about the question is not the question. It's Obama's response to it. Mm -hmm. He, in that moment, uh, made a political decision. <laughs> <laughs> that that he was going to essentially call out this 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 question. I wish he had gotten matter. Right, you know the, he the was fact. That, I, I wish he had gone nuclear. Yeah, because he oh, wanted yeah. to say he something else. Himself. Right. Yeah. He wanted to say go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, I think in the environment, you know, where we just had this Confederate flag debate and everything else, I think you made the decision. Um, this is a moment. You know, the sec second half of my second term, I'm I'm going to push back yeah. and you know try not to tolerate this. All right.